The scriptures today, I think, offer us a challenge wrapped up inside another challenge. What could he possibly mean by that? One of the challenges is obvious. We hear it so clearly in the Gospel, where Jesus has to say to James and John, look, it's not all about you. It's about the mission. It's not your glory and honor and how people are going to look up to you. It's about what we're trying to do in bringing about the kingdom of God. And some of that is going to be very costly. It's going to cost me my life, and ultimately it's going to be costing you your lives also. So get off this business about it's all about you and realize what's really happening here. That challenge is very real for all of us, and it's a challenge that Christians have all understood for the past 2,000 years. Sometimes we find ourselves realizing truly that it's not all about me. Sometimes we fall into thinking that it is really all about me. But more and more we learn that knowing how to love means knowing how to reach out to others, to take the focus off myself and to put it in another place. That challenge is real enough in itself. So why do I say there's another challenge wrapped inside it? I say that because, as I think we're all familiar, over the course of the centuries, there have been people who have taken that challenge and twisted it around in order to exercise control over others. Have been saying to them, yes, you're supposed to be loving. You're supposed to be self-giving. You're supposed to be the people who are loving. So, do something for me. Often enough, this has been men saying this to women over the course of the centuries. At times, to be fair, it does go the other way around. It has happened, I know, that there have been priests who have said to abused wives, oh, you have to stay with your husband because this is love. This is the commitment that you made. This is the way you have to love him. And that's a complete twisting around of what Jesus is trying to challenge us to today. Sadly, as we know, there have been priests who have said that to young people. You know, if you really love God, then you will express that love to me in an incredibly vicious way. But that's the way it's been said. Now, this doesn't just happen within Christianity. Look at the people who have said, well, if you love Allah, you will fly a plane into a building. And it's never the person who comes up with that idea who blows himself up or, or kills himself. He always gets other people to do it by saying, well, this is what it means to love. This is what it means to give of yourself to others. So in perhaps a strange kind of way, the reality that we talk about, that it's not all about me, does have to be balanced a bit, if you'll allow me to say it, by hashtag me too. It has to be balanced a bit by saying, yes, we are all called truly to give of ourselves, for others to give of ourselves for the kingdom, but that doesn't mean that we have to allow ourselves to be hurt and abused and put down in the light of that. So what does that mean for us? It means on the one hand, obviously, that we need more and more to be willing to accept that challenge, truly to give of ourselves, truly to know what it means to love, that it's not about me, that it's about the way in which I can be of service to others. But while we're doing that, it also means that we have to be very careful that I'm not expecting that from others. That I'm not saying, well, others have to do that for me. And it does mean at the same time, if ever we are in a position we, where we really are being put down by someone else, where someone is trying to use our Christian love as a way of simply getting control over us, that we have every right and responsibility to say, no, that's not what this means. The letter to the Hebrews today reminds us that we have a great high priest 
Jesus, who has given his life for us and thus passed through the heavens into the fullness of life, we are reminded that we are called to follow him. We are reminded that it's not all about me, that we are truly to give of ourselves in love. But we are reminded also that what that ultimately means is the responsibility we all have to love one another, and at times to challenge one another as to what real love means, so that truly we can be those who work with the Spirit of Jesus to bring about the kingdom.